All right, Everblades fans, Blades TV here, and I'm standing with first-year coach Greg Poss. Greg, uh, I know it was a short end of the season this year. Um, we were able to make it into the playoffs. Give us your assessment of this year and, uh, you know, the final end of the playoffs, how the team played. Well, I think that uh, if you look at the months leading up to Christmas, we had a really good team. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, or, or fortunately, that's our, our role also as a developmental league. Uh, most of the players did really well, and they moved on and never came back. Players like Pastilli or McNichol or McKenzie or... Gepford, um, you know, we lost, you know, a whole first two lines, Ethan Graham, defenseman. And then we had the situation where Mike Agner and Trevor Hendricks were lost to injuries. So we, we kind of lost. Uh, and then at the end, we lost both goaltenders, Gepford and Giannis, to the American League, and they never came back either. Um, so we had a totally different team at the end of the season than we had at uh, at Christmas time. And, uh, you know, I wish I wish the, the, that, that the league would have lasted one more week longer that we would have had another weekend of games that would have helped us a little more to get more chemistry going before the playoffs. And then we played a really good Kalamazoo team. They, they had a very good team and a really good leadership on that team. And um, But it was it was the exact same team that we played in November. So they were able to keep their group together for the for the entire season. And But, I mean, in all, we have to look at it as a, as a success to make the playoffs. Um, and we, we had every chance to, to win both games up in Kalamazoo, both one-goal games, tied – um, late in the third period, we just didn't get the bounces to, to win the games, and um, so our season ended. But uh, if you look at the number of players we sent to the American League that never came back, um, you know I think that's that's really positive. And in this league, it's all about getting your players back at the right time. And we're a little bit unfortunate this season, but uh, you know we'll work and, and really hard this summer and put a good team together, and uh, you know hope we're fortunate to, to get guys back for the for the playoff run next year. Well, as you said, this is a development league, and I can see the optimism in, in your in your tone. Um, and you talked about some of the players that you did keep move up to the AHL, and they did stay there. Tell me about some of the challenges of being an ECHL coach. I know this is your first year in this league. What are some of the challenges, you know, um, on the positive side and maybe on the negative side as well that you learned this year? Well, first off, I really enjoyed my time. I mean, it was it was it was great, and uh, it, pro probably the hardest league in the world to coach in. Um, just because of uh, of the player movement that you have and the uncertainty every player has. And you have a lot of players that, let's face it, they're kind of at a crossroads in their lives. If they really want to continue playing hockey, they kind of, some players will lose, uh, they, they kind of lose that light at the end of the tunnel feeling that they can make it. And you've got to keep them motivated and keep talking to them. And, and I really enjoyed that that, that part of it and, and working, with, working with the group that we had. And even in the end, we maybe didn't have the most talented team, but we worked extremely hard, and uh, we had to play really defensive to try to uh, just to sneak into the playoffs and and uh, and to try to do well. And the guys really bought into it, and, and they did their best. And in the end of the day, that's all you can do is is get the potential out of the team. And um, I thought we did a really good job of that this season. Um, so I'm I'm energized and excited to come back uh, next year. We've already started the recruiting process and are contacting a lot of. A lot of players and a lot of coaches right now and uh, um, all the guys we brought in at the end we brought in you know new goaltenders we brought in uh, you know Olam and Stevens and uh, Cousins three new defensemen out of college free agents and we brought in Pitt and Helfrick up front uh, so all those college free agents we brought in we're really happy with and I think they're going to be important building blocks to our team for the future and uh, you know, we're probably going to have uh, <clears throat> a bit of a turnover as far as the old guard not coming back, uh, but you know, sooner or later it's time to move on, and you, you can't play in this league forever. You know, like we said before, it's a developmental league, and uh, the idea is to come in, do a good job, and get out. And um, we, we need those kinds of motivated players to, to move forward. And uh, but I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait for next year to start already. Well, well, speaking of next year, I hate to put you on the spot. It's early already. Um, give us a sense of what the fans can expect. Are you going to change a lot for next year? I know you're going to you're looking to bring back a lot of the same players. But give, give us a little sense of what we can expect next year as well. Well, I think we're going to bring back, you know, some of the players we had this year. But obviously we're not, you know, a lot of them, you know, like a Ross Carlson or players that have been here for a couple of years, you know, sooner or later it's time to move on. Um, and so we need to replace those those uh, players and, and re-energize the organization a little bit in that regard. Um, but, uh, you know, we're just going to try to recruit the best player possible like we do every summer and um, really pay attention that they're really good character guys off the ice and that they have high goals And because um, those are the kinds of individuals that, that fit our program that I can work with the best. Um, and uh, so we're going to really work hard at that. And um, like I said, we have a good young core coming back. Um, of players that uh, really did well in the playoffs for us for 
some of those guys, it was their first pro game, was in the playoffs. Uh, so, uh, but just from watching them practice and how they handle themselves, they're going to be really good additions to our team. And um, no, I'm, like I said, we're going to try to try to get a fast, physical team and uh, move forward from there. Well, it's always easy as us, for us as fans to go right from the postseason to next year. But uh, what's in store for you for the summer? Uh, I know you got to take a little time off before you get right back into it. What are you going to do this summer? Yeah, I've got a house in uh, in Germany on the Baltic Sea. I haven't seen it yet. It was actually built during the season or completed during the season, so I'm excited to get back and, and see that. Um, and all my work in the summer is anyways done, either on paper, planning, or also on the phone. And today with Skype, it's free to make phone calls. So uh, with the time difference, I'm usually on the phone by about 4 o'clock to about 10 o'clock at night uh, over over in Germany and uh, making calls to coaches and players and um, doing the recruiting process. So, um, But I'll have the whole day uh, to uh, be with my kids. That'll be a lot of fun. I haven't seen them in a couple months now and uh, enjoy and re-energize for, for the new season. We've really enjoyed having you um, as coach of the Everblades this year. And uh, I know it's your first year. We look forward to having you back next year. The fans embraced you totally this year. And as far as Blades TV, we really appreciate how you embraced us and brought us into the locker room as well. It's been a great season. Um, you're a great coach. I think all the fans can see the optimism, and uh, we'll look forward to, next, to seeing you next year. Okay, thank you very much. All right, Everblades fans, Coach Greg Poss, looking forward to uh, next season, and we'll see you there. Log on and bookmark BladesTV.com today. Your Southwest Florida hockey connection, powered by hockey fans everywhere.